Uh, that's Galatians 6, 9, and 10, which says, And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially those who are of the household of faith. And not growing weary while doing good, and in due season uh, reaping a harvest, really fit in with another news story that maybe you've already heard about kind of going on this week. And uh, you, you may not be as interested in this, but you know I am because it has to do with football. And so uh, the NFL Combine was this week, but there's a really inspirational story this year that came out of that, and that's uh, Shaquem Griffin, who uh, he's he wasn't invited to the NFL Combine, had to petition to go, but he's there uh, setting records. And his story is remarkable. Uh, started out was a twin, had a uh, rare um, kind of disease attack him even in the womb, and it uh, attacked his left hand. And so uh, they didn't want to do a procedure because it would risk his life and his twin brother's life. And the mother said, well, we're not going to do it. But uh, because of not getting that in the womb, he was born to where he had extreme uh, sensitivity to touch and, and hitting on his hand. And so uh, kind of one of the stories that's been going around is uh, at, when he was four years old, he had bumped it up against the bed and was in so much pain uh, that uh, his mother awoke, she was sleeping, and to her son, four-year-old son crying and runs in there and he's in the kitchen with a knife threatening to cut his own hand off because it hurt so bad. Uh, and not too long after that, they did have to amputate that hand. So he's gone through life since the age of four um, with no left hand. His twin brother uh, plays for the Seattle Seahawks, but they had always played football together, always uh, built each other up, and that really uh, fits in with the uh, last part of, of, of this scripture too, uh, therefore as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially those who are of the household of faith. And they really work together. Uh, you know, his brother, um, without having that handicap of, of you know, one hand, didn't, uh, you know, wasn't held back, got lots of opportunities, but he uh, didn't want to go to a different school from his brother and, and went to the same school. And uh, so his brother is actually playing for the Seattle Seahawks right now. Uh, but yet, through all these obstacles, he was Defensive Player of the Year for his whole conference. Still didn't get invited to the NFL Combine, but petitioned to go. He ran a 4.38 40 time, which is faster than the fastest running back this year. It's the fastest time for a linebacker in like over 15 wow. or 20 years. Just an amazing story. It makes me feel terrible of all the things that you know, I set out to accomplish and I can't do uh, the, what this guy has overcome and to hopefully be playing in the NFL next year and, um, you know, just kind of uh, giving credit to God and, uh, you know, his parents helping him along the way and him and his uh, brother, you know, encouraging each other. Uh, it, it really can be an inspirational message to all of us to not give up, not to grow weary while doing good, but that we will reap a harvest if we're faithful to, to do what we know we're called to do, what God has that's, gifted that's us to do. That's an amazing story. It really is an inspirational story. And so uh, if you think something's holding you back, uh, just know that with God, all things are possible and uh, you can accomplish great things. If you like what you saw, make sure to like this video and comment below. Hit that subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.